Hi everyone, just a really quick intro. This video was filmed before I moved house, so it was actually right at the beginning of this year, <laughs> and it was filmed on my old camera. So you'll have to turn the volume up really loud, and you'll have to just bear with the quality. But it is an empties video, and I didn't really want the video to go to waste, and also when I moved, I threw out all of the empties products. <laughs> So I'm sorry about the audio and I'm sorry about the quality, but I'm sure you guys will still really, really enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. Let's get into it. Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is an empties video of all of the different things that I have used up, um, gone through or perhaps stopped using because I didn't really like them. And I've been hoarding a lot of rubbish. So I'll be very pleased when this video is over because then I can take all of these lovely empty bottles or containers and dispose of them properly. If you're new to my channel, everything that I feature is 100% vegan and cruelty free. Thanks for tuning in and let's get into the video. Let's start with Bath and Body first. These two here are the De Lorenzo Thermal Defense shampoo and conditioner range. So they have got the argan oil in them, which is really great for your hair. It does help to moisturize and hydrate your hair. I really enjoyed using these two. And De Lorenzo is an Australian brand. They are 100% vegan and cruelty free. They are plant-based ingredients. I do really like these shampoos. Probably the only reason I stopped using them is because I now work at Lush, so I buy the <laughs> um, shampoo bars. But in saying that, I would definitely buy these two again. As someone who uses their hair dryer, curling iron and straightener every week, I did find that these ones defended my hair from a lot of heat damage. So I really liked them. Very happy to be putting these in the bin. Or the recycling bin. Staying in the shower, I have a lot of body washes. So you can see I've tried out quite a few. Let's go through them. This one here is from Eco Store, so you can buy this one at the supermarket. It's their Orange and Patchouli body wash. I love the scent of patchouli, so this one was a favourite of mine and I'll definitely be buying it again. I'm just going to have a whiff and see if I can remind myself what it smelled like. Somehow smells like chocolate orange. I don't know <laughs> if that's just me or um, it might be the orange patchouli mix, but I really like this one and I find patchouli a really relaxing scent to have in the shower. Speaking of chocolate, this is the Yuzu and Coco Shower Cream by Lush. Now they are discontinuing this one, so I would recommend rushing out and buying it because you're not going to find it in stores and online soon. So I recommend you go and buy it quickly. Uh, this one here does smell like chocolate oranges and it's a bright yellow shower cream. Oh yeah, it just smells divine. Really enjoyed using this one. Um, it does have a bit of grapefruit and bergamot oils in it as well. Everything mentioned in today's empties video will be linked in the description box down below. So if you're wanting to rush out and buy this one, just click in the description box and I'll have a link for you. This one here was the Sukin Botanical Body Wash. I really like this one. It's just the original scent, but I know that they also make a cocoa scent and um, a sensitive body wash as well. Now... This one here comes in a pump, so I found this one extremely versatile for in the shower because it's a lot easier to use than having to replace a cap, even though a squeezy cap is super easy as well. But yeah, I really like this one. It lasted me quite a while. It's 500ml, so it is quite a big bottle. And I found this one to be extremely good for bubble bath as well. It really lathers and bubbles up. This one smells like strawberries and cream. This is the original source vanilla raspberry. So it's a light pink in colour shower cream. And again, extremely good for bubble baths. This one really lathers up well. Now, probably the only reason I haven't featured original source on my channel before is because they are owned by Unlever. And of course, they test on animals. So yeah, it's really up to you as an individual if you buy this particular brand, which is vegan and cruelty free. Or if you're not into nasty parent companies where the money goes to the company that owns this company. <laughs> you can find these ones at Countdown and I think they go on special for 4 or $5. dollars. So for a vegan body wash for a few bucks, it is a really good buy. And yeah, I guess it's just your personal choice. One more product that was actually used in the shower. This one here is the Pure Fiji Coconut Sugar Scrub. And it's in the Guava Infusions. That's all of the pink labelling. 
guava infusion. It smells delicious. I love this scent. I've already got a new one. Let me go grab that one and show it to you. This one is extremely great for buffing off your tan. So coming up to summer, if you're wanting a really good body exfoliant, this one here is fantastic. This is my old one and this is my brand new one, unopened. Um, so I am going to start using this one in the shower very soon. I think I'll take the seal off so you can see. So it is a solid sugar rub. And I think that's the plastic. Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> that's the little plastic scoop there. Wow, it smells delicious. These are not cheap either, by the way. So if you can fly to Fiji <laughs> and grab them all from Gina Rao or Duty Free, I highly recommend you do that because in New Zealand, these pots go for about $60. Oh, it's not a cheap exfoliant. Uh, but I was very lucky that a friend of mine was coming back from Fiji and she grabbed this one for me through Duty Free. Alternatively, the Pure Fiji range, which I have a huge amount of, um, they can be found at the About Face clinics and a few of your local pharmacies. Still staying in the bathroom area, but not bath and shower, I have got more than I'd like to admit tubes of toothpaste. And actually I probably need to squeeze all of these right out to the bottom. I feel like I've been a bit lazy and I've just pushed them to the side. This is the Red Seal toothpaste that I buy from the supermarket. And my favourite ones to get are the smokers, even though I'm not a smoker. Or the baking soda. I find these ones are really good for teeth whitening. So I'm going to chuck these boxes in the recycling bin. And you can see here I have... Yeah, I probably need to squeeze a little bit more out of each of these tubes, but uh, this is by far my favourite toothpaste. I have the empty boxes of Oi Organic Initiative cotton pads and liners. I just buy these ones as well from the supermarket. They're really easy to find. They have extended themselves now into New World Countdown and Pack and Save, so that's really great. If you are unsure why you would support a company like Oi or why you would buy organic cotton, well, the answer is really simple. Anything like synthetic dyes or toxins that are going around that area are obviously not good for you. So that's why I changed over all of my feminine products to the Oi brand. The packaging is super easy to recycle. The pads themselves are wrapped in a paper that is biodegradable. And overall, it's obviously better for the environment and for your body. So if you haven't checked out Oi Organic Initiative, you can take a look in the description box to see all of the links. Go and check them out. They have lots of giveaways on Instagram and Facebook and they are a really great brand that's why I like to support them they're extremely affordable as well they don't just make pads they make liners and tampons so if you're in the supermarket next time check them out this one here is the Earthwise brand of hand soap now I did a bit of a boo-boo I picked up the lily and white ginger one which I didn't actually realize had honey in it so I managed to get through the entire hand wash before I realized and on the back it's actually in the ingredients but here's a really interesting thing to know. If you're looking for ingredients, I always recommend you copy and paste or write these ingredients into doublecheckvegan.com, a really great website that will tell you if all of the ingredients in the bottle are vegan or not. Now, I didn't do that, and I should have, because on the back here it's got a very fancy name for Manuka Honey, and at the end it's got the letters M-E-L, and if you are good with your ingredients and you know what M-E-L stands for, you'll know that it stands for honey. This is a cruelty-free brand, and they have a lot of vegan options. Obviously I picked up the wrong one. Uh, as far as the hand wash goes, it was really nice, but I wouldn't obviously buy it again. I would buy one of their vegan options. I have two deodorants here to show you. This one here is a sample of the Schmitz Lavender and Sage Natural Deodorant. You can buy this from My Eco Evolution. They come in stick form, and yes, I will be buying uh, one or two more of these stick forms of deodorants. Obviously, this was just a little sample pot, but I did really like it. And it was in the scent Lavender and Sage. Yeah, I thought that was quite good. This deodorant here, I have finally finished it. It's from the same people who make Eco Tan, so it's called Eco Sonia. And this one here is their coconut deodorant. It's a unisex scent. Uh, yes, it does work. I found it to be not as antiperspirant as I would like it to be, but that's not what it's recommended for anyway. It is a deodorant, so it covers the scent. I really thought that this one would be great for sensitive skin as well. And it comes in a little roll-on. I featured this one in, I think, a favourites video or a winter july type video last year and it is organic so if you're looking for green natural deodorants you can either check out the previous one that i just featured or this one here
Out of those two deodorants, I think I preferred the Schmitz one better because it was slightly more antiperspirant. I have got three face type things. Just quickly show you my contact lens brand. Now this is probably the only thing that I haven't really found or I don't even know if it exists a cruelty free vegan option for. The lenses that I use are Biofinity and the reason that I use these lenses are because they're very very comfortable in my eyes. So I'm very naughty, I wear my contact lenses probably for more than 12 hours a day. <laughs> so the Biofinity lenses that I get are really, really comfortable. The lenses I have are from all for eyes nz I'll link their website down below. They've got really great contact lenses, coloured contact lenses, which I also have as well from them, and glasses. Sugan Facial Moisturiser. I have a new one of this already. I really like this facial moisturiser. Paraben free. Uh, no synthetics, it is cruelty free vegan of course, everything from Sukin is, so that's a great brand to go to if you're a newbie for all of your vegan cosmetics. I find this facial moisturiser really light for both summer and winter. It gives me enough hydration all year round and I also mix this in with my foundations when I need to bring them down a shade. This is the Designer Brands Express Makeup Remover, I've featured this in a few of my other videos. I only have a tiny bit left so I'm going to have to get a new one. Um, basically you shape the pink and the white oils together. I found this liquid makeup remover to be extremely great. It takes off all of my eye makeup and I wear a lot of eye makeup and also takes off the uh, glue from my false eyelashes <laughs> so it is a really good one. That's my empty one and this is the one that I have left. And it's from Designer Brands so it's only $10.99 from your pharmacies. It's a really really good buy. Now that one there is not suitable for people who have lash extensions because it is an oil based one. But in saying that I have oily combo skin and I've never had any problems with it making my skin oilier or giving me any breakouts. I have a lot of supplements now and food items to show you. Uh, we are getting towards the end, thank goodness, of my empties video but I thought I'd just first show you some of the goodies that I have ingested over the last couple of months. There's more of these types of things but I thought I'd just show you three of the chocolate brands that I really really enjoyed. This one here was only given to me uh, like two days ago. They are an all vegan organic direct trade palm oil free, gluten free and soy free brand. Ooh. Handmade in New Zealand using one of the world's finest chocolates. It looks like they are made in Snell's Beach in Maharangi East Road. Sugars look low, servings per packet one of course, just one. I would consume all of that in one go. <laughs> the one that I tried was blueberry and raspberry, obviously easy to recycle and that's from Honest Chocolate. I'll link all of their social media and their website below. Loving Earth, another brand of chocolate. This one was the 85% dark. Loving Earth is made in Australia. I follow them on Instagram and I love their posts. So I have kept the packaging to show you how it comes. It comes in a little packet like this which is biodegradable so it's pure plant source. So it makes for snacking super easy because it comes in the box that you can reseal and great for recycling. This one here was a gift from one of my flatmates. It's the Sweet William Dairy Free Chocolate. I prefer dark chocolate to this brand of chocolate. However, their white chocolate that is dairy free and vegan is especially good for chopping up into rough chunks and throwing into your brownie mixture. Sweet William, I'm pretty sure is an Australian brand. Yeah sweetwilliam.com.au and they have non-GMO ingredients and even though I prefer dark chocolate I obviously ate all of this. Red seal tea, peach and pineapple. I had all of these hot but you can make uh, cold teas with them as well. I took them to work and everyone really loved them at work and this would be perfect for making iced teas out on your balcony coming up to summer. Go out and grab this. This is from the supermarket and they come in individual little packets and I really adore uh, Red Seal Teas. I've got quite a few of them. If you're unfamiliar with the Lifestream Vitamins brand, I do have an older video on their products where I show you all of the vitamins from them that I use. I show you the capsule sizes and I tell you why the vitamins are really good for you. My background is in pharmacy. I have been in pharmacy for the last 10 years, so I am no stranger to supplements. 
I don't take a lot of supplements, but Livestream were very generous and they sent me a few to try. Uh, generally, I would just use um, a few supplements that I'll mention soon and B12 drops, but I haven't ever really needed to take supplements, so these ones are just add-ons. I'll start with their Spirulina, which is the mini blue ones. I found these ones extremely good to boost my iron. Um, you get about 200, oh sorry, 300 tablets in this little box, so you can imagine how small they are, super easy to swallow. Great for teens, especially teen women. They're vanilla flavour, so they don't have that gross like, Spirulina taste. Although in saying that, I have also tried their normal green spirulina and I really like those as well. Baby, what you doing? I didn't know you were in here. Do you want to say hello? Hello. Hello, Oscar. What you doing? Oh, you're so beautiful. Oh. I didn't even know she was in here. <laughs> so I did try their mini spirulina blows. Yes, I would definitely buy those ones again. And their green ones as well. Um probably prefer the blue ones to be honest because they're the vanilla flavor and they're, and they're just easier to swallow every day. If you have teens that hate veggies and aren't very good uh, with getting a lot of greens then these are definitely a good idea to try. Natural selenium which we don't have a lot of selenium in our soil in New Zealand so they do make that one which is really good. I used all of that one up. This one here is their V Omega 3. Now I noticed a huge difference in my nails and my hair when I started taking this Omega 3 capsule. I would recommend you go and check out my live stream video because I link a video as to why it's better to use plant based Omega 3 than obviously your fish oils. Uh, for obvious reasons if you're a vegan, not to harm fish, but also this is the Omega that the fish get. So you're basically just eating the sauce, you're not eating through an animal to get to the sauce. As well as overfishing and environmental issues, the V Omega 3 from Livestream is just a better pick overall. A lot of women during pregnancy as well want a Omega 3 supplement, uh, so this one here is 100% plant based and a really great option. Vitamin C and Sambucol, great for winter cold and flu season, which we've just been through, but you never know, you could get a summer one as well. You could get a cold in summer as well. This one here is vitamin C. It's not the highest dose, but in saying that it is a great option for cold and flu season, I would just take one a day. You get 90 in here, so that's about a month and a half. I feel like that's all you really need. Vitamin C is a great antioxidant as well, especially great for protecting your cells against harmful free radicals. So that's all of your pollution and um, if you're a smoker or if you get a lot of sugars and oils in your diet, vitamin C is a great protector. These effervescent tablets that I picked up from my pharmacy where I work are suitable for vegetarians and vegans. They come in a little pop top, just like a Barocca basically, and you just drink it around the cold and flu season. I wouldn't buy these again <laughs> because they were just so sweet. Like, it tasted overly sweet, so not digging those ones. I only have one last item to show you. This is the False and Flared Mascara from Designer Brands. I use it in pretty much every one of my makeup tutorials <laughs> and um, this one is finally empty. I don't really have a lot of makeup empties just because I've got too much makeup really. Um, loving the wand on this one, I have talked about it 10 times over, I don't need to talk about it again. This one was also featured in my designer brand's Hits and Misses, obviously it's a hit. I've got a new one now that was just sent to me, thank you designer brands. So I can dispose of this older one. But what I have found really good about your, uh, towards the end of your older mascaras is they make really great bottom lash mascaras. Sometimes the bigger ones can be too gluggy or too much product comes out so you get your bottom lashes coated heavily. But I found using the end of a mascara for my bottom lashes is really good so I'll use that one on my bottom lashes until it finally says goodbye to me and I'll use my new one on my top lashes. We did it. We finally finished the empties video. I can now throw away all of these things that have been in my room leaked in dust for so long. Thank you so much for joining me in today's empties video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found some products that you might want to use, that you might want to have a look at. 
make sure you click that link in the description box down below if you would like to follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. It's all linked there as well, as well as any discount and affiliate codes that I have. I forgot to mention that I've also used probably two or three Vixen & Co candles, but I'm sure you guys know that if you follow me in my vlogs, and I've got a discount code for them below, so go check their candles out as well. <laughs> the best way to support my channel is to give this video a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.